Shalom, Shalom. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, has given our praise to the Most High, in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honest to our teachers, the elders, and apostles, the Red Millstone, who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. And as you see, somebody's in the, on the airplane, okay, and they're seeing this ship in, this, in, in, in the clouds. Okay, they're seeing a chariot okay a chariot of the most high in the clouds which is this world are called a ufo or a uap these 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 uh vehicles have been identified they are the ch chariots of the most high all right and we know it says this footage was captured on february 4th 2024 from a passenger on a commercial airline you see it right there look at that man that's marvelous miraculous <laughs> okay and it looks like to me it looks like um it looks like there's another one back here in the back. All right. See back there? Like something else is back there. All right. But these ships are are are, are definitely here and they're watching. These are the angels in these in these vehicles. Okay, and they're watching for the children of Israel. All right. It says keep in mind that the airline was over 30,000 feet in the air. So this isn't just a building or a top of a building. No, this is 30,000 feet in the air, you know, in the clouds. A plane is flying over the clouds and they're seeing it. Says, so, what is this thing? We know this is the vehicle, the ships of the most high. Now, this uh, page that I got this video from, I saw it called something Bigfoot. It says, We definitely weren't supposed to see that. We swear it looks like the Avengers mothership. That, 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 crazy. All right. And it's, and it's, um, in these last days, we're going to see father ships. Okay. We are going to see the father ship. All right. And, you know, many other ships as they come to the close closer to the end of this thing, we're going to start seeing more and more chariots You know, every camp. You know, me and the brothers, they would be seeing chariots passing over the camp while we at camp. So we in some spiritual times, brothers and sisters, we are in some spiritual times and you want to get ready, get prepared, get your minds right. Because when the missiles come, this is going to be the way that the children of Israel will be delivered. OK, via these ships. And we pray to be a part of that number. OK, that can see. This glorious and miraculous salvation. All right. But yeah, I just thought that was spiritual, man. All right. That was spiritual. Look, look at it. Just you know, that's that that yeah, that's beautiful. All right. You never know when you get on the plane if you're gonna see a damn, uh, you know, a whole, you know, UFO or chariot, as the Bible call them, in the uh, in the sky. All right, you never know, man. All right, I'm gonna leave it right there. Let's grab a few scriptures. It says, This is Psalm chapter 104 Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? And that's what the Lord does, He makes the clouds his chariot. What you're seeing here, these clouds, you know, there's a ship inside these clouds. It says, Who maketh the who walketh upon the winds, the wings of the wind. And that's what they're doing. They're walking upon the wings of the wind. These ships are constantly, you know, hovering above us, fl uh, flying above us, man. All right. And that's just how we know that the Lord is real. All right. You got depictions, you know, in the ancient time of these vehicles being, um, you know, drawn and hieroglyphs on the walls and stuff, man. So this is something that's been here. All right. These are the angels. All right, let me grab a few more. It says, oh, it says, who maketh his angel spirits, his ministers of flaming fire, a flaming fire. And sometimes you see these ships at night. It looks like a star in the sky, a, a minister of flaming fire. It says, who laid the foundations of the earth that it should not be moved forever. All right. And, uh, you know, when you go into, you know, the ideal of these ships, man, you know, they, 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 they can do all kind of things. These ships can be, you know traveling faster than light speed in the sky or they can even go into the ocean it says jeremiah chapter 4 verse 13 behold he come as he 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 shall come up as clouds and his chariot shall be as a whirlwind his horses are swifter than eagles woe unto us for we are spoiled and that's amen <laughs> this is the power of yahweh Shai. All right, and the Lord comes. He's gonna come with a gigantic. He's gonna come in a gigantic ship. All right, and deliver Jerusalem. 
O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness that thou mayest be saved. And that's the whole point, to be saved, to be delivered. Wash your heart, your mind from wickedness, man. All right, come out of this wicked, dead estate so that you can, Lord willing, be saved because the Lord is going to burn America with thermonuclear missiles. And this is how the elect will be beamed up into these ships, okay, to be de delivered. How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? You don't want to keep, you know, these vain thoughts lodged within you. Thinking about the future of America. There is no future for America. America is through, okay? America is through. Let me grab this. As birds flying. Because the Lord is about to gather these nations into the valley of Jehoshaphat over there in the east. And they're going to get ready to fight. And he's then, once he destroyed those nations over there, he's going to come across the ocean. Isaiah chapter 31, as birds flying, so will Yahweh of hosts, Yahweh of armies, deliver, or it's like a defend Jerusalem. Defending, he will also deliver it, and passing over, he will preserve it. So Israel is a people before it's a place, okay? Jerusalem is a people before it's a place, and he's going to defend and deliver Jerusalem. Turn ye unto him for from whom the children of Israel have deeply revolted, and that's our people, they have deeply revolted against Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and you should be turning back to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. For in that day, every man shall cast away his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which your hands have made unto you for a sin. So it ain't gonna matter about you. Jesus peace ain't gonna save you in that day, man. You gotta come back to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in truth and sincerity, or you will be destroyed. All right, and they asked, they said in this video, they said, um, what did they say? They said, uh, Keep in mind, it's over 33 feet in the earth. So what is this thing? All right, so people, we got people that don't know, but we know. All right, let me grab that too in Amos. Because we know. All right, we, we know what this is. The Lord has revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Let's grab that real quick. It says, Amos chapter 3, verse 9. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall they be evil in a city and Yahweh have not done it? Surely the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets to his servants, the prophets. So the prophets, whomever they are, they're going to know what these ships are. They're going to know what these vehicles are. All right. Well, most people don't don't know, but we know. OK, because the Lord has opened our mind and our understanding to this. I remember prior to coming into the truth, I was, you know, researching all these conspiracy, so-called conspiracy theories. And the first thing, one, one of the first things the Lord put, the Lord put on my spirit to, 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 to seek understanding about is what are the those ufos what, what what are these ships they always talking about and that's the way that israel will, will be delivered okay the lord will deliver his uh children the israelites with, with these ships okay so seek yahweh bashim yashai if you want to be delivered it says um let me grab this <clears throat> isaiah 66 verse 15 it says, for behold, the Lord, Yahweh, will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger, his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire, which brings me to this right here. All right, I have looked this up. This is Independence Day. You know, Independence Day, they had this uh, ship in the Independence Day. Okay, and it was coming out of the clouds. Okay, same thing. It's coming out of the clouds, man. All right. That was the first one, I believe. This is the second one. They had a gigantic ship coming out of the clouds, all right, which is the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay, he can he can disguise himself in these clouds. Let me go here. You got something called cloud UFOs, all right. Look at that man, all right. Some called cloud UFOs cloud ufo and look at these particular clouds are shaped like ufos or flying saucers which these are uh you know the uf uh or the chariots remember that movie nope these are the chariots disguising themselves as clouds okay they hide in the clouds all right they can also be invisible you know you cannot you you, you can be hovering over you and you won't even see them unless the lord opens your eyes to see them Okay, so in these last days, the Lord has opened our eyes and we see. Okay, we can see clearly what, 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 what these ships are, but, but most people can't. All right, most people can't. And 
because of that, they're, they're, they're going to be taken. And it's destruction, man. All right. But these are just some examples. All right. Let's go back. This right here is a beautiful example. Somebody was literally fly, flying in a plane and they saw this. Going back to Isaiah 66 and verse 16, it says, For by fire and by his sword will Yahweh plead with all flesh, and the slain of Yahweh shall be many. All right, so the Lord is about to destroy a lot of a, 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 a lot of people. All right, he's about to kill a lot of people on this earth, man. All right, I went into it the other day, but I heard about, I heard about the fake alien invasion, which there's no such thing as aliens. Those are the angels, and um, let me grab that too. You know, they're gonna do they're, they're gonna do their little thing, and we're not gonna be taken by. But we know ultimately the Lord is coming to deliver His people with, with these ships. Okay, let me grab this. Um, This is Psalms chapter 64, verse 17. The chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. So in these ships, you have thousands of angels. You have an infinite amount of uh, chariots, and in these ships are the angels. It says, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. Right. So in, in these vehicles, there are angels. All right. We're, we're telling you these things. So when the time comes, you can't say that you didn't know. All right, and this right here is a, 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 a marvelous thing that, we, that we're seeing here, and we're going to see more of this. Okay, you're going to the chariots are going to start revealing themselves more and more in these last days. Okay, this is also may, may makes you think about the war in heaven. Okay, because the real war in heaven um, is going to be the Lord and, and the holy angels fighting against Satan, Esau, and, and, and his angels. Okay, his militaries. So let me go here. Like I said, a little, little, little like it was one, 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 one in the background too. But yeah, man, that's 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 something serious, man. All right, that's something serious right there. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to, you know, show the whole world. You know, Scripture says, "Every eye shall see and every knee shall bow." But let me grab this right here. This is Second Ezra, chapter thirteen, verse. Um, I'm gonna start at verse one. It says, "And it came to pass after seven days." I dreamed a dream by night, and lo, there arose a wind from the sea, and it moved all the ways thereof. And I behold, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven, which is our Lord, with the thousands of heaven, the angels. And when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were seen that were seen under him. So the Lord is going to make the whole world tremble. And who and, and whensoever that the voice went out of his mouth. They all, all they burned that hear, heard his voice as the earth that filleth when he filleth a fire. And a great, good example is that movie Independence. No, 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 Salakia. Um, Independence Day 2, when that when it came out and it struck the, the White House, that, that beam struck the White House, but also um, War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise. When people, people was getting, you know, obliterated or turned to dust about by that fire. All right. It says. And after I beheld, and lo, there was a gathered a, together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. So they're going to come to try to subdue the Lord and the angels. And they said they came out of the sea. I mean, they, they, they came out of the heavens. It says, but I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. So the, this ship was so big. It was like a mountain. You can't you couldn't see from one end or the other. You know? It says, But I would have seen the region and place wherein the hill was graven, but I and I could not. And after this I beheld and lo all they which gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid and yet durst fight. These um uh these uh militaries, these um air forces or whatever, they're gonna try to fight against the Lord. And when they see the Lord's magnificence, they're going to be greatly afraid. 
okay they're, and, and they're going to try to turn around but the lure is going to make them fight you got accounts of people in fighter jets you know seeing these ufos and they try to turn but you know the angel will you know or the ships the angels in those ships they will take control over their their their, their ship and make them continue to come towards the fight all right the lord loves a good fight all right so it said so like i got a phone call but back to to, to to that scripture it says and after this behold i and lo all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid and yet durst fight and lo as he saw the violence of the multitude that came because they coming to make war against the lord he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword nor any instrument of war but only I saw that he sit out of his mouth, meaning the mouth of the chariot, the opening of the chariot, as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests, and they were all mixed together. So this is uh, a blast of fire, flaming breath, and the tongue out cast out sparks of tempest. And they were all mixed together, the fire, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell, which is concentrated fire, and fell with violence upon the multitude, which was prepared to fight. They're going to try to actually fight against the Lord, man. That's how, how these devils is. They're going to try to fight against this kind of power. All right. It says, which fell upon the multitude, which was prepared to fight, and burned them up, every one. They're going to get burned up. So that upon a sudden, like that, an innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived, but only the, but only dust and the smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. All right. So, Ezra's just giving a, a, an account of a vision he had of the end times when they're gonna try to fight. When the Lord makes his second coming, they're gonna try to fight against the Lord. The Lord said, "I shall not meet thee as a man." So he's not going to come, you know, in that, you know, as, as a lamb. He's going to come as a lion in these last days. And he's going to, you know, destroy these militaries in a, in, in, in a second. OK, with that fire and, and that blast, it says, thou has showed thy servant these wonders from the beginning and has counted me worthy that I should have received my prayer, that thou shouldest receive my prayer. Show me now yet the interpretation of this dream because he couldn't understand what he was seeing. But in these last days, we understand. Okay, we know how this is going to go. It says, for I can, I conceive in mine understanding, woe unto them that shall be left in those days, and much more woe unto them that are not left behind. For they that were not left were in heaviness. Now understand I the things that are laid up in the latter days, which were in the latter days, which shall happen unto them and to those that are left behind therefore are they come into great perils and many necessities like as these dreams declare so the prophets were seeing these visions they were seeing these visions in these dreams and they were showing them the end of this thing man all right so these ships are prepared are prepared for the end okay you're going to see these things be revealed all these uh, dreams that prophets have saw that's written in this Bible is going to come to pass the Lord he shall make known his words unto you so everything that's been written in this Bible these words are going to be made known unto you and like I said look right here it look like it's another one right here in the far distance okay it look like some, something else over there all right so these ships are, are, are ready and they're watching you know they're getting ready to do the bidding of our Lord Yahweh Shai in these last days and the whole world is going to see the whole world is going to fear you're going to know who the true God of the Bible is, man. Like I just went into it and about how they burning these Bibles up. Well, you're going to know who the true Lord, who the true Lord of these Bibles are. All right. In these last days. With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom. Kwame Shirala, Abba, Abba, Praise, lessons has been edifying to the whole for elect. Shalom.